Tracing our family history. It's something we generally associate with Americans coming over to find their long lost relatives. However, with shows like Who Do You Think You Are? The journey as to finding out where the Delaney's are from might take me outside Dublin, but does it does. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I hope there's Dub roots there, yeah. And the genealogy show. She came across the name Ansley a lot of times. Ansley. And my own mother had actually told me we were married into that family, but I didn't know who the family was. So you want to know who are these Ansleys? The whole idea of finding out about our ancestry is becoming more popular. As part of the gathering, this weekend, people will be able to drop into a special Irish Family History Centre in Dublin to do just that. We're here in the Discover Ireland Centre on Suffolk Street over the weekend, all day every day, showing free access to people with findmypast.ie. We've also got a host of other societies here, genealogical experts, we've got confidential one-on-one -on -one expert resources available and we also have some lectures as well for people. Sights and sounds pull me back down another year. I was here. Sadly, with the destruction of our 19th century census information in the four courts in 1922, we have to be a bit more creative about the sources that we look at. So with findmypast.ie, we would have land records available that actually aren't available anywhere else online. Things from the mid-19th century where you can actually, in some cases, see a map of where your forefather lived actually there on the screen. Now it does take time and it can be a bit of a minefield. So where should you start? Well, the very first thing you need to do is talk to your older family relatives. Find out what they know. Uh, because they will tell you a huge amount that you might not otherwise never find out. Then you need to start tracing the family records, the, the records that are out there about family history, which will allow you to actually pinpoint um, the accuracy of those stories uh, and actually add uh, flesh on the bones of some of the information you've been told. So you need to start looking at things like birth, marriage and death records. You need to look at the 1901-1911 census, which are online for free as well. You need to actually start looking at parish registers. You need to start looking at land and estate records. You need to start looking at court records. You need to look at the whole gamut of, of records that survive. And you've always got to remember, records weren't created for family history. Records were created for some other reason. So you need to understand why they were created in the first place and find out what they might be able to tell you. And you can have a lot of fun doing this. It's great, exciting. It's an exciting journey to go down. Peggy here from Chicago is one of the many people who have started this journey. We were just researching um, a few of my relatives to see if we could pull up some records and we kind of just bracketed it by where they're from and years that they were born and came over. So we found a John Fleming. So we were just looking up um, the record number and how you could go and look up the actual birth certificate record and someplace we have the address written down. But that's just amazing that they actually have hard copies of some of these records. There was a few surprises. There were a few John Flemings that popped up that apparently had a criminal record. So we're trying to narrow down if I was exactly related to one of them, but um, hopefully not. There might just be a little bit of colorful family history. My name is Catherine Delaney and I'm from Tipperary. And um, I'm very excited about this weekend, you know, the event here because I, I have done quite a bit of work on my tracing my ancestors on both my mother and father's side of the family, but like that, it's just I need to get more information of to try and fill in the missing gaps. Yeah. And you were here at the military archives. I mean, is there a special interest in that? Um, well, I understand, like from family stories, that um, one of my grandfathers was involved in the War of Independence, and it's just I'd be I'd be interested to know what he did, you know, what role he had in the War of Independence, or you know. Just to, start, just to try and clarify some of the family stories I've heard. Now I'm here with Mary Jackson. She's an expert genealogist here. And over the weekend, she will be giving the free one-to-one -one sessions. Mary, you're going to help me with my family history. Absolutely, absolutely. I better reach for my phone or ring my mother uh, to find out some of this do, information. Do, so see where we can go. <laughs> All right, okay. I have her here now. What was granddad's father called? Jeremiah. 
if we've identified that your great grandfather is Jeremiah Coakley yes. and he's single um, and 19 years of age, what I would suggest then you do is go and look for his birth certificate. What you do is fascinating because if this is my great grandfather, then for the first time I found out that my great great grandparents were Patrick and Kate from Dunamore in Cork and were married in 1891. My journey has just begun and so can yours over this weekend.